I flapped my wings as I lifted my body off the ground and started my journey. I soared through the sky, beating my wings furiously in the air, hoping to arrive at my destination quicker than usual because it was very tiring to exercise. I made it into a wood, and the trees I heard were crunching and waving in the wind. I sped up my speed because I was frightened by the trees waving around. A loud crack came from the trees because I, since I was easily scared, I flapped my wings as hard as I could, and luckily I made it out of the lace wasteland and into Virginia. Um, I looked around and, uh, and eventually I found enough sticks to make a nest. I went into the nest and had a good sleep. A noise rang from the trees as I threw as I flew through a forest. I was interested. I was interested in the bizarre noise and I started looking as a beehive emerged from the dusty trees. The beehive, the beehive fell from a narrow tree. The bee started coming out as a hive. I figured I could make it to my destination, so I kept on moving as fast as possible. And then I soon made it to Georgia. The sun fell. The sun fell as I gathered the figs to make my nest. And now, it, and now the moon was shining as I rested in my nest and fell asleep. Once I woke up, I was ready to fly again. But first, I needed a snack. So I got some seeds from the tree. Now, now I am ready, I said. So I flapped my wings and started to get higher and higher. I was moving faster because my wings were getting bigger. I looked down and saw all of Virginia. But then I noticed a big hawk right above me. So I dived down as fast as I could to get away from the hawk. I did and was so happy. So I glided through the sky and then reached Louisiana. So I swooped down into the trees to build, a nest, to build my nest and landed and went to sleep. Once I woke up, I grabbed some seeds from the tree and then started my journey to Corpus Christi in Texas. When I was in the air, I had a lot more energy because, of all, because my wings were growing from all the flying I had been doing. I got a little hungry, so I landed in an apple tree. I've never tried an apple before, so this will be my first time. I took a bite of one and I was amazed of how good it was, so I finished the whole thing. Then I took off. Then I took off again in the sky. But but the time I knew. But by the time I knew it, it was dark. It was dark out. I have landed in Corpus Christi, and now I will, I will build my nest and land and go to sleep. This morning I am going to Monterey to get closer to my destination. I woke up and brushed my beak and had some breakfast. I had some of the fruit nearby. There were apples, oranges, and peaches. I took flight at 9 a.m. from Monterey. I flapped my wings and took off. The, the wind was warm and I was very excited to go to Monterey. I've been to many places in my life, so I'm really happy to go to a new place. I didn't know what they were going to have in Monterey, so I was wondering, wondering. Soon after, I thought I was in Monterey and then I found a nest and took a nap and found dinner and then went to bed. I woke up the next morning and had breakfast and then I took flight. I forgot my wings are were bigger and I could fly faster. I was going to hop on a boat in Hawaii and then hop on another boat to go to Bora Bora. In the middle of my trip, I met a falcon that was chasing me down. I got really scared, but sooner than I thought, he went away, and then I was in Puerto Vallarta. I built a nest and then went to bed. I finally was relieved that my journey was coming to an end. So the next morning, I sat perched in a tree. I took a look I took a look at my feathers and beak. Both had chains throughout the strip. I saw the boat lean to white, and I grabbed some fruit and headed to the ship. I took a perch on the very top of the boat and put my and put, and ate some of my fruit. Um, the cold breeze hit my face as the boat traveled toward Hawaii. I fell asleep. Once I woke up, I noticed that the boat had reached Hawaii. I also noticed that my beak had changed. 
Um, my beak was now will now be used for eating coconuts. I stopped in Hawaii and started testing out my new beak. I got a few coconuts and flew back to the boat. Um, I saw my destination. A smile stretched across my face as I embraced the warm weather. I completed my destination. I was now in Bora Bora.